Hi, welcome to How to D&D. My name is Frederick Wheeler and today I want to talk to you about... Well, this is an unscripted video. I have written nothing down. But I want to talk to you about the Dungeons & Dragons Adventure League Epic Adventures. Um, there are four. This is season four now. And for a number of months I have been helping Matthew Roderick arrange and organise uh, Dungeons & Dragons Epic Adventure in New Zealand. Um, I was looking on YouTube and apparently nobody has ever put one of these conventions up online. Uh, or I'm looking in the wrong place. So I guess I thought I would come and talk to you about this event and what they are. And I guess also to ask how interested are people in these sorts of events. So to give you an idea, the current Dungeons & Dragons Adventure League Epic, these adventures are played across multiple tables. So you have multiple groups all working towards the same goal. Which means they are very complicated. They require a lot of effort to organise. You need to have a lot of Dungeon Masters. You need to have a lot of players. Uh, I believe the minimum number of tables required to run one of these things is 10. In New Zealand that's huge, in America it's probably nothing. It has been a lot of hard work. It is an Adventure League um, event, which means it's sponsored by Wizards of the Coast. It also means it has a lot of parameters that require you to follow. Um, I know a lot of people don't particularly like Adventure League rules. And I have stopped running Adventure League adventures for at least about almost a year, I think, now. Um, and I was actually a local coordinator at one point. So we are running one of these things in New Zealand for the very first time. And I suspect probably for the last time. I don't know that they'll offer this up again. I think it'll wind up being something that is only going to occur at PAX or Gen Con, stuff like that. Uh, it is taking place on the 4th and 5th of June this year at the Rose Park Hotel in Parnell. It is hopefully going to be the biggest thing we've ever seen in New Zealand. Um, and I thought, given that I run a YouTube channel, that a lot of people might be interested in seeing what it's like. Now I can't film the whole thing because I will be dungeon mastering. Um, or trying to uh, at some point and I will also have to do some administration work that's sort of part of the deal uh, but I will have some time to sort of film what's going on so you can see what happens um, hopefully I'll have more than a few players that won't want to hide their faces but who knows so that's, that's the plan and I, I would really like for people to comment below I'm going to put this up I don't know how much it's going to reach people but I'm going to put this up but I would like people to comment below and sort of tell me what they think. Um, the current adventure we're going to be running is called the Reclamation of Flame. I believe a, like an ancient dragon has taken up res residence in the city of Flame. And uh, the population are basically being ruled by a tyrannical dragon. And uh, you know it's going to be the adventurer's job to uh, deal with it. Um, there are going to be lots of people playing at tier 1, which is levels 1 to 4, and another tier, which I believe is level 5 to 10, tier 2, and tier 3, levels 11 to 16, which are probably, they're going to have to do the, the hard yards, they're probably going to have to take on the dragon themselves. So, uh, there is a website, I believe it's called kingscon.com, there is a Twitter account called kingscon or King's Con, K-I-N-G-S-C-O-N, -N. yeah, um, there is a Facebook group, I believe, an event, uh, and I know I've posted it up on the Dungeons and Dragons New Zealand Facebook group, so it's, it's available, um, I know it's not much help to anybody who's in a different country, but still hopefully an opportunity to see how this is sort of run. So, I'm not going to say my usual, you know, share, like, and subscribe, blah, 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 because, you know, for this it probably doesn't make sense. 
But what I would like is for people to comment below and tell me if they would be interested in me putting something like this up on YouTube. And I guess specifically what sort of stuff they would like to see in the YouTube video. Um, I can't guarantee I can do it, but I will try. And uh, yeah, that's really all I have for today. I had planned to do a whole lot of videoing outside, but it's New Zealand and winter is pretty much here. That's why I'm in the jumper. Um, Rose had planned to come over. We we're going to shoot a whole lot of stuff and uh, pretty much have just Rose beat the, the snot out of me uh, with a variety of weapons. Um, so hopefully that'll happen next weekend. But uh, yes, please make a comment below and uh, till next time, I hope everything is going well for you.